Here is a cool new feature in Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer version 2. When you have vector objects with strokes, it can be frustrating when you scale them, as the stroke or the line thickness stays the same. You could go to the stroke properties of the object and turn on the Scale with Object checkbox. Now when this is turned on, notice how the stroke thickness is automatically adjusted to match the size change, which is pretty cool. Suppose we also have a layer effect applied to it. For example, an outer shadow. When I scale the object again, the effect is not scaled. It still applies the same shadow radius. To fix that, we can go to the effects dialog by pressing the cog icon in the effects panel and turn on the Scale with Object checkbox. Now, as you see, the layer effect is also scaling, which is awesome. But there is a new option in version 2, which I think is awesome. Let me turn off the Scale with Object settings in the effect and the stroke settings. If we go to the Transform panel, there is a new toggle called Scale Override. If the Transform panel is not enabled in your setup, you can turn it on using the Window menu. Let me turn it on and check out what happens. Pretty cool, isn't it? The stroke and the effect is scaled automatically. This is a huge time saver. There is a catch though. Let me use the other object. The scaling of the stroke is not working, even though the scale override is turned on. Let me open up its pop-up dialog and notice this text here. Scale override will only apply to aspect correct scaling. So what does this mean? It means that it only works if you scale with a fixed aspect ratio. We can do this by pressing and holding the shift key. If I scale again and hold the shift key, the scaling is automatically applied. So you might wonder why it worked on the first object. The reason for that is that it was a group and the default behavior of Affinity is that groups are scaled with locked aspect ratio. When I press and hold the shift key, I can override the aspect locking and as you see, the scaling stops working. The scale override toggle has some options as you might have noticed. You can decide which parts should be locked, or in other words, should not scale. If I lock the layer effects, notice how the stroke is now adjusted, but the shadow is not. A pretty nice feature. It is not a groundbreaking feature, but it is one of these small improvements which makes life a tiny bit easier. Thank you again for watching, and until the next video.